Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. So today I want to show you how to crochet this mesh top with all these little gaps. I'm doing it a bit cropped, it goes just above the belly button, but you can definitely do it longer. You just repeat this section until you like the length of the top. This top today I'm crocheting in the video is in a size medium. I will leave a link for the written pattern below where you can find a size extra small, small and large included. This is a fairly easy pattern. I will hold your hand uh, through the whole process in this video so you can see every step of the way. So let's begin. First, a little about the materials. For the yarn, I've used this Kremke sole wool. Uh, this is morning solitation and it's vegan. You can see all the info right here. And also what's in it. This is 51% uh, Lucille. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then 49% cotton. You can definitely replace this yarn with 100% cotton. It doesn't make the big difference, but I think this is really nice and I really like the color. I will uh, write in the description how much yarn you will need for this top. And then I have used a 4mm hook, some scissors, and finally a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. So we begin with the bottom of the top with the brim, and we will do a slip knot to begin with. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we chain 10, so yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 10 times in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now we will work one single crochet into every chain. And you skip this first one, insert the hook in the second chain, and single crochet. And then one single crochet all the way across. When you're all the way across, the first row looks like this. And you will now chain one to turn the work. Then turn. And then we will begin working through the back loop only. So you have the stitch right here. Show you with a little needle. We have the front loop right here, and then we have the back loop back here. This is the back loop, and we will only be working through the back loop of the stitch for this row. So skip the first stitch out here. This is your turning chain, and then work one single crochet through the back loop of the next stitch. So insert the hook in the back loop and single crochet. And then continue with the back loop and single crochet. This stitch is a back loop single crochet. Continue with one back loop single crochet all the way across. And if you're a beginner, it might be a good idea to count the stitches. Remember, we chained 10 and we skipped the first one in the beginning, so we should have 9 stitches across. And we should keep having 9 stitches across for the entire brim. We will now repeat this row 2 we just did until the brim is uh, wide enough or long enough. So just chain 1, turn. Skip the first one and back loop single crochet all the way across. And then just repeat row two again and again. And you can do any number of rows as long as it fits around the body. I did 150 rows. You should though have an even number of rows. This brim measures 70 centimeters for me. I will now connect the edges. So just make sure it doesn't twist. 
and then put the two ends together just like this and we will now make a seam all the way across so we connect these two so just take your hook push through the stitch on each side so through this layer and this layer and then slip stitch so yarn over pull through everything you have on the hook then insert the hook in the next stitch on each layer and slip stitch so just one slip stitch in every stitch all the way across so when you're all at the end the two layers will be one that's it so now these are connected and we will now open it up so this will now be the outside of the top and we will be working on the outside and we will now be working along this edge so turn it horizontally and we will now begin working into these rows as stitches so chain two to begin with so just one two to get up to the height of the double crochet we're about to do and we will do one double crochet in every row all the way around. So you have a row right here and this in between. This is also a row. And then the next one is this one. So to make a double crochet, we yarn over. Then we insert the hook in this next row. And then finish your double crochet. Then you find the next row and double crochet into this. Then this row, just yarn over, insert the hook into the next row, double crochet. And just one double crochet in every row all the way around. And I did 150 rows. So I have 150 double crochet when I am back here all the way around. When you're all the way around, we have one double crochet in every row. We will now connect the two ends. So this is where you started and we will do a slip stitch on the top of the first stitch. So just insert the hook in the first stitch of your round and slip stitch. So now they are connected. We will now begin the next row and we will be working with triple crochet for this next row. So we will do a chain of three to turn. One, two, three. Then we turn the work. And these three chains counts as our first uh, stitch. So this is our first triple crochet. And we will work with a triple crochet and then a chain space gap right here and then a triple crochet again. So we will now chain one to make your first space. And then we will skip this next stitch and then in this stitch over here we will do a triple crochet. So you yarn over twice. Then you insert the hook in this next stitch. Then yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. So now we have a triple crochet, a chain space gap, and a triple crochet again. So we will now chain one to make our next gap. Then we skip this next stitch on the bottom, move on to this one over here and triple crochet. So yarn over twice, insert the hook in the next stitch and finish the triple crochet. And that's the next gap. 
I'll show you once more. You chain one, then you skip one, move on to the next, and triple crochet. And then you just repeat this pattern all the way around until you are back here again. Then you complete the round with a slip stitch in the third chain up here. So you have this gap. So this is the double crochet from the previous row and then you skip this and then slip stitch in the top chain. So you just insert the hook, yarn over and pull through through. Then we completed this second round and we will now begin this third round and we will do a round with this double crochet in every stitch. So just chain two to turn the row. Turn. And then we have a double crochet belonging to this double crochet down here. So now we want to work a double crochet in this gap and then a double crochet in this one and then in the gap. So just yarn over and insert the hook directly into the gap instead of the stitch and double crochet. And then work a double crochet in the stitch belonging to this double crochet. So yarn over and double crochet and then in this gap and then continue all the way around with one double crochet in every stitch so each time you meet a gap you do a double crochet and each time you meet one of these you double crochet so one double crochet in every stitch all the way around and then in the end you join with a slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. So just insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. Whoops, like this. And then we actually just repeat row two and row three until we like the, the, the length of the top. So we begin with a row two, so we chain four chained three and then made one extra to make this chain space gap and we turn the work and then we skip the first stitch move on to this one and triple crochet so yarn over twice insert the hook and triple crochet then a chain space gap and then skip one and make a triple crochet in the next one. So just repeat row through, <laughs> row two and row three again and again until you like the length of the top. We are all different heights and have different body lengths. So you just continue until you like the length and then we continue from there. So I didn't want my top to be full length. I wanted it to be a little cropped. So I continued until this measures 28 centimeters. So this is 28 centimeters from the top of the breast to the bottom, just above the, the middle of the stomach. And you can see how wide it is. It is about 38 centimeters, so 15 inches. I finished uh, with a double crochet, with a row of double crochet. In the end and I just um, connected these two with a slip stitch so now I want to cut the yarn and pull the hook through and then I will weave in this end later because now I want to attach some straps and I am attaching them about seven centimeters in so about right here Just putting in a little stitch marker where I wanted it to start. And then I find my yarn.
and then I attach it. I always just tie a little knot. And then... Grab the yarn and pull through, and then we can begin. And I want to crochet this way, so I am turning it over. And then I begin crocheting. And I'm doing the straps with the single crochet. So just begin the next stitch. Single crochet. And single crochet until you don't want your straps to be any wider. So just continue crocheting. I don't know how many stitches it takes for you. I think this is fitting. This is one, two, three, four, five, six stitches for me. And then I just chain one turn then I skip this first one this is your turning chain move on to the second one insert the hook and single crochet and then work your six single crochet all the way across you can do the straps wider or more narrow that's totally up to you then I do these six stitches across and then chain one and turn. So you just have this strap getting longer and longer. I'll just measure it to see. This is three and a half centimeters wide, my strap. So you just continue until the straps uh, is long enough to go around and just fit it along the way. I did my straps 29 centimeters and that is 60 rows back and forth. So I will now cut the yarn so we can attach it to the back side of the top. So just pull the loop through. Thread your tapestry needle and you see I just finished this strap right here. I will do the same thing with the other one. So make sure it doesn't twist and then put it on the back side. You can put it like this with seven centimeters like I did or you can Put them more like this, that's totally up to you. But just place it where you want your straps to be attached and then sew it with the tapestry needle. And I'm using the mattress stitch to sew it up. And that is to go in between the two layers and from the bottom and up the opposite side. Then again, in between the two layers and from the bottom and up the opposite side. Again, now from this side, in between the layers and from the bottom and up, all the way across. And then in the end, just weave in the end. just a few times back and forth through some stitches and you're done. Then you can cut the yarn whoops, and you have both your straps attached and you you can actually use the top as it is right now but I will just uh, apply one final detail and that is a little edge all the way around because I think the, the edges on the straps is a bit uneven and I like all the edges all the way around to be the same. I just needed the right hook. It looks the same, but it isn't. 
So now I will just attach the yarn someplace and I'm just doing it right here on the edge of the strap. And then I will just tie a knot. And then I will do an edge all the way around the top with a slip stitch. And I think I will go up the this one first. Just to show you. So I will do one slip stitch in every stitch all the way around. So first in this stitch, just insert the hook and yarn over. Pull through, pull through. Then in the next stitch, just insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through. And then you have this one. Just one slip stitch and a slip stitch. So just give me one second and I will show you the difference. I think this is a lot prettier and finished looking than this, but that is totally up to you. So just make one slip stitch in every stitch all the way around if you like to make a top just like me. And that is all the way around the edges of this and all the way down here. And then again up the top and on the other side as well. And then when you weaved in on your ends, you have this really nice edge left. And then you're finished with your top. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.